Afternoon guys, hope you're doing well. Currently out, enjoying a nice walk on my pipe. Got some scent, mm. some scent Bernard Flake, which is these days truly one of my favourites, if not my favourite tobacco currently. So I thought I'd take you along on a afternoon walk currently in a place called the Glen Devon. You can might be able to see for the trees the Glen I think it's the Devon River. The water the water Devon that flows through pretty rural just now, pretty out in the sticks. So what we'll see where this path takes us. Right, I apologise if the camera's a bit shaky. One, it's rather cold. It's about four degrees where I am just now. And the path I'm walking doesn't seem to have much sunlight. And two, I don't know if you can see on camera this well, but the gradient of this hill was actually quite steep. Which I didn't expect to be that as much of an increase. But anyway, really nice area around here, kind of a classic, just rural Scottish trail. Um, this isn't too far from where I live, about maybe a 40 minute drive or so. Um, which is nice to kind of, you can come somewhere this remote. I've been out here for about half an hour, I've seen the one person. Kind of, there's no one else around as of just now. Nice and rural, and really enjoying this pipe. Like I said, Simpson Arfleek is one of those blends that I think I discovered about maybe a year and a half, two years ago. Um, the first time I ever tried it, I actually had it, it was about a nine year old tint, so I was a bit spoiled. But even that was amazing, and obviously, from then onwards, I've bought recent vintage of the tins. And it's just exceptionally, exceptional tobacco. But yeah, the scenery here is fantastic. There are more kind of, not mountains, but a lot more hills uh, once you get out of this area. But this area is kind of, it's more of a valley where I am. It's kind of a very you remember your geography. This view is called a U-shaped valley uh, and it's got the river running through it at the base. It's not a big river, it's not very powerful at all, um, but I believe it, it leads down eventually to the Forth, which is a big river. If you could even call it a river towards the end. But yeah, we'll keep on going. I'll check back and move soon. Don't know if you can hear it, but there must be a jet approaching somewhere. Not sure where. Definitely over in that direction somewhere. And what's particularly annoying, which you might be able to see up ahead, is the wind turbines. Yes, obviously they produce green energy, but in a landscape such as this, it does ruin it. Big piping, I assume that'll be for the... the there are a few homes here. When I mean homes, there might be in this kind of two square mile area, four or five. Um, so they're quite remote to where these homes kind of won't have your t typical power or draining or gas that 
regular home sample because they're so kind of brutal. Speaking of homes, that's one there. Kind of, this is pretty remote and rural off the path. Get back too soon. Right, slowly coming towards the end of the end of the walk, you might be able to see a few cars down there. There's a small car park just off the road that runs through this valley. Pretty much at the end of this pipe now. It's smoking exceptionally well. Which is also good to see as I don't have a wind cap on it. And the tobacco is staying lit, which is good. Although it is quite cold, there's thankfully no wind. I think I'll, not too far from here, there's a good butcher that does good pies. So, seeing as how cold it is, I think I'll stop by and pick myself up a scotch pie. Which, for those of you who aren't aware of what a scotch pie is, it is mutton, which is an old sheep. So, kind of, you have your lamb. But Scotch pies made of mutton. I can't remember what exactly how old they have to be, but it's an older sheep. Um, but that qualifies as that. You see, we're right in autumn, or supposed towards the end of autumn, but you still got nice colours and trees. And yeah, that being said, hope you guys take care. You have a good rest of your week. Today, I believe. Uh, yeah, today's Friday. Um, expect to see an available pipe t t tomorrow, uh, probably midday UK time. And also, I've got some few other videos I filmed the last couple of days, which I hope to put out next week. But yeah, having said, take care. Cheers.